Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't really expect such a lot of massive mails in my mailbox over the last week. You know how many it were? More than 40,000 saying no to Lunacek report. My website was hacked as well. I mean, I don't know what this was, who it was from, but it might be a coincidence, it might not be a coincidence. Such resistance to a report that basically talks about the right of people to love and live their lives without fear is something I did not expect. And that's why I'd like to start my explanation and my presentation of this report addressing especially those of you here in the chamber who have this resistance against this report. Because I'd like to ask you, would you want your daughter or your son, your brother or your sister to be afraid to walk hand in hand with their loved ones in the streets? Would you want them to be afraid to tell their colleagues at the office on a Monday morning who they went to the movies with on Sunday night? Or would you want any friend of yours to be afraid to tell you that he has fallen in love with a man or that she has fallen in love with a woman? I guess not. I guess you would tell those friends, well, please speak to me. Why are you afraid? You know, that's what this report is about. To make sure that lesbians and gays, bisexual and transgender people in this European Union can live their lives free from fear and discrimination, accepted and respected in their private and public lives as citizens of this, our common European Union. And it's not about special rights that some claim in these emails I've been getting and many of you have been getting as well. No, colleagues, it's not about special rights. It's not about privileges, no way. This report does not call for special rights. And I would like to challenge anyone in this chamber to mention just one right, just one, cited in this report that would give a privilege to LGBT people. One right that other discriminated people, Roma, disabled people or others, would not enjoy. The right to go to school without being bullied. The right to not be considered mentally ill the right to not be fired from a job because of who you share your life with? Colleagues, the European Union has strategies to combat discrimination on Roma people, discrimination of people with disabilities. This European Parliament has already asked 10 times to the Commission to present a roadmap against homophobia and discrimination of LGBT people. The Commission hasn't done so yet, that's why the Libby Committee decided to go ahead and demand it, because we know the situation is grave. The Fundamental Rights Agency of the European Union has made clear in the report they did, 93,000 LGBT people answering last year, that 60% are afraid at times to walk hand in hand in the streets. Almost 50% are harassed or discriminated, and one in four has been physically attacked or threatened with violence in the previous five years. This is homophobia, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. And this must not be tolerated anymore in Europe. So many of us, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex people, have lived our lives in fear for too long. My report says that you must act on this. And it's not about telling member states and pushing a, a sort of um, um, going across their competences, sorry. <laughs> it's not about breaching competences of member states. We made that very clear. Paragraph five, you can all read it. This comprehensive policy must reject competences of EU agencies and member states. But we need to act on that. This report tells the commission, this commission and then the next one, it tells us in this, yes, election campaign we're having now that we have to work on fighting fear on making sure that people who are harassed or attacked because of being lesbian or gay will go to the police and will have police people there who understand what the problem is and that they're not harassed again. And it should make sure that, for example, in schools, that schools are shared and member states share 
best practices of talking about the fact that LGBT people and families exist on this continent and they shouldn't be discriminated against anymore. Thank you.